Okay, we're going to attach braided line to a fluorocarbon leader with the J knot. Um, it's probably my go-to knot for braid to mono or fluorocarbon. It's very simple. It's going to be a uni knot on one side, so the white here is going to be, uh, let's say, uh, 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon. The pink is going to be uh, 10 to 20 pound braid. Okay, I'll show you with this first, and then I'll show you with the uh, with the actual line. So we're going to tie a uni knot right here. One, two, three, four times around. Pull that tight. Okay, and then on this side, you could tie another uni knot here for a double uni, but what I prefer to do is to tie an improved clinch. So I'll move it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven on this, but sometimes I'll do as many as 12 with braid, and I'll put it right through there, and right back through there, and I will draw this down. Doesn't work quite as good as fluorocarbon on the braid, but I'll show you how it will pull down. And then we'll look at it with the real, the real deal. So that's it, uni knot to an improved clinch. We'll just simply trim off the tag ends right here. This is a knot that uh, I have a lot of confidence in. It's uh, I like it because it offers kind of a ramp on this side so that the, the knot, if it ever does come inside and outside of the guides, it doesn't really get caught on the guides and um, just generally pretty strong. So the way that looks with fluorocarbon and braid, here we have um, a general 30 pound fluorocarbon leader uh, and, and 15 pound braid. Just lay them side by side, roll a loop there, uni knot here. Four or five times around. I'll generally wet the knot before I pull it down. I'm not going to do it on the video today though. Um, tighten that down even just a little bit more. Okay, and then on this side, I'm just going to take it and just tie clinch knot it's a 12 turn clinch right there put it back through sometimes I'll improve it sometimes I won't put it back through here to make it an improved clinch sometimes you have to kind of jiggle it to get it to start coming down and then as as it starts to tighten up if there's big gaps here, I'll pull on the tag end a little bit, straighten that knot out. Now when I pull it down, the barrels will all roll down nicely. You can see the line actually change colors when, when you have fused it down tightly. Then I'll take the um, scissors, pliers, cut it off close. And that is my pretty much go-to fluorocarbon to braid knot.